Hey guys, I know, here I am. I know I'm a day late and a dollar short. I was supposed to do this last weekend and um, I think I just had such a long work week that I just, I slept most of the weekend last weekend. But here I am now, hands free, no iPhone, no five minute fast talking. Um, I don't know, it's kind of weird to be over here. My setup here, I'm not really digging. Uh, the computer that I have here is not one that I use anymore for very many things. It like rarely gets turned on. Um, don't have my space set up still where I wanted um, to have everything, but it's okay. It's all right. You know, I'm here. I got it to where I I can I can work with this. If you guys can work with this, I can work with this. So, um, I I want I have so much so much really like so much that I want to share with you guys, but I. I don't know um, uh, how long it's going to take to upload a video, so I want to kind of space them out a little bit. So maybe do one video at a certain minute mark, and then the next one increase the time, if that makes sense, so I can get a gist of how long it's going to take to upload. I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm, I probably won't get all of these in. Um, I do want to talk to you guys and you know do some catching up. It's been a very, very long time since I've been over here. Um, at one point in time, I had planned on not even having this channel and starting over. And then, um, you know, I was trying to go into the into the the journey side of life. The journey. I'm the journey. You know what I mean? But then I was like, you know what? Let me get back over there. Let me get back over there. Um, the original reasons for why I started my channel, I can't even tell you how many years ago now. Um, you get lost in translation, you get caught up with the wrong people, you get caught up in the drama, you get caught up in all of that craziness. And I think that in the time that I've moved away from all of that, it's given me a chance to kind of grow up. And um, that stuff is just insignificant. You know what I mean? I'm here for a purpose. I'm here because there's obviously people here that want to see me. Um, and I think that for any person that decides to open their life and open their door um, to social media or YouTube, we're all going to stand a chance of someone watching that's not going to like you. So, whatever. It is what it is, you know. Anyways, so um, the last video that I uploaded before the little five-minute one um, was on my daughter. Uh, she is doing better. We went to a doctor yesterday, to a doctor. We went to her doctor. Uh, she had some labs done for some um, testing on her kidneys. She has a um, cardiology appointment on January, I mean, on December the 28th, and a sleep study on the 29th. And then uh, she will see a cardiologist on January the 18th. Um, we're still dealing with the tooth and the jaw. Um, two times they've tried to extract and her blood pressure and her heart rate went through the roof. So they don't want to do that right now. But I will say that um, her jaw is not locked anymore. And she's eating and her weight is back from, if you guys remember, I said she was 179. She dropped down to 135. She's up to 146. So that's really great. Thank you all so much for your, your comments and your uh, Facebook messages and reaching out to us. Like I can't say, I can't, you know, I'm not going to cry, but I am so thankful for that because um, the blood pressure medication has definitely, definitely made a huge, huge impact on, you know, health wise for her. And I've kind of accepted, I've had my saw. I have learned, you know, the medicine's there for a reason and it's helping her. I'm kind of past the anxiety of her being 19, now 20 on two different blood pressure medications. So it's working and that's all a positive. You know what I mean? I can't say any more than that. So we're taking it one step at a time. That's all we can do. That's all any of us can do in life, you know? Um, Briefly, 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 I can't talk tonight, y'all, because I cut the coffee off at like four-ish, maybe. Uh, Terry's good. Terry's good. He is at a camp that is not far from here, about 40, 45 minutes away. He is just doing the time. He's in transition. He is about to transition into his last phase of the sentence, um, which will be getting him ready for release. So he says hello to everyone um, and that he's good and he's doing his time. So that's all I can say. I don't want to say any more. We have become very, very private. We have become very private on Facebook. We've begun just, it just zip, 
throw the key away. You know what I mean? So uh, the computer here, I'm not digging the setup at all, y'all. I'm not digging the, the, the corner. I'm in a corner right here and workspace is behind me and it's kind of kind of close quarters over here. So I'm gonna have to figure out a different setup. Definitely a different setup. But for right now, um, we're gonna get we're gonna get to it. I have a fever blister that started on my lip, which is really gross. Um, no filter. Never no filter. I ain't changed with that at all. Um, and I've been dealing with some sinus like up here and we had a girl that had strep throat at work and brought that mess to work and I think she was on day four of her antibiotics when I came in and I mean when she said strep I, I started backing away from her but uh, I don't know maybe her germs jumped on me anyways because it, it, it hit me I haven't felt the strep yet I feel a little burning in my throat but I feel more of the sinus like pressure and yesterday I felt like my head up here was just gonna come off but feeling better the meds are working um I don't know, y'all. So random. I don't never plan anything. I don't never plan anything. So it's really kind of weird to be back over here. Um, when I plugged in the webcam over here, I had an old video on here from the other house. Um, sadly, the house that we lost. Uh, and it was kind of weird to watch that one. Um, I wasn't going off on anybody. Wasn't going off on anybody. But it was kind of weird. You know what I mean? That's the last time that I recorded was in that place. Um, can't even tell you the month. Don't even know. Might have been project shares. I don't know. You know, all of those projects that I've shared in the past videos, um, sadly, I've lost all of them. You know what I mean? Well, there was so much just destruction that everything was just you know, either water damaged or just it was it was awful. It was awful, you know. But um, I've made a lot more since then. I've worked on quite a bit since I've been in here. I've been able to kind of take some time off over the weekends and, um, you know, through the months and just kind of slow down a little bit. I've really stepped up the, the drawing and the canvas painting. Um, a lot of tattoo art, too. I've been doing a lot of tattoo art. A lot of people have requested tattoo drawings, too. It's so crazy. So crazy, you know. I try to share what I can share on my page. Um, not real sure what I'm doing about the groups right now. Uh, I feel like I just want to get rid of all of them and just start completely back over. Just brand new. But I don't know, y'all. It's kind of a toss-up. Not a lot of action going on in some of them. Every now and then someone will post something, but I don't know. I don't know. The world is a canvas. You can always wipe it clean and start over. And I, I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. You know what I mean? Um, I keep going back. My mind keeps going back to the computer. Um, <clears throat> really, really short here. I got kind of got a funny story for you. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I should say funny. Kind of a nostalgic kind of moment for me today. I got in here and I was looking through some of my folders and my files, and um, Tommy apparently had uh, installed this program on my computer uh, three and a half, four or five years ago. And I came across it, and there was text messages on here that me and him had shared, and there was videos, and and wow, you guys, like wow, um, it's a gift. It was truly a gift. I had my moments of tears. I had my moments of laughter. I had my mo he had a way of making me laugh at the, just just by looking at me. You know what I mean? And um, I really feel like I was meant to see that today. I was meant to find that. And um, I'm really glad that it, it's still there and it's not, you know, it's preserved all of this time. So I know a lot of you guys, and I'm not sure if I still have the same following over here. Um, if you are wondering who Tommy is, just go back in the videos and there's a remembering him where I did a whole video for him. But uh, I don't want to, I don't want to throw shade and I don't want to, I don't want to be, you know, the downer and all of that. But I just, it was really it made me kind of pause today, you know, whenever I found that, um, it makes you really cherish moments. And I feel like, you know, in life, if you have someone that's around you and, and, you know, like you, they leave you a note or a text message or a phone or whatever, whatever they have that preserves whatever happened within a day. And God forbid, I never wish that on anyone, but should something happen to them, you know, we find little mementos that mean absolutely, they are priceless. They are absolutely priceless. You know what I mean? And that was kind of how I felt today. I was like, wow, I have so much left from him. I didn't even know I had. 
didn't even know I had, you know, and three years ago, there was no way I could open it up and look at it anyways. I mean, I've came to such grips with his loss and the peace is definitely there. And I do believe, you know, that with time it does heal, you know, I'll always love him. I'll always miss him. And I'll always, you know, regret that he didn't have the, the shot at life that he so deserved, you know, but it was kind of, kind of weird, you know? So anyways, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. So I'm at 10, almost 11 minutes now, and I've got to figure out what I want to share with you guys. Um, cause I want to try to upload this. Um, uh, and then I will go, I'll do some more. I'll do some more videos, uh, between today and tomorrow and Sunday. So journals, I haven't worked on any journals. What do I want to share first guys? <clears throat> journals I haven't worked on in a few months. I have several here. I'll give you guys more detail. This was one that I did with a box. It was just an old box, little thin box. Um, and I'll give you guys more close up. I just want to kind of go through them and then I'll try to, I'm not going to be able to share all these right now though. So, um, anyways, so this is the first one that I'm going to share with y'all. And then real quick, I'm just going to give you a, a front view and a back view. And then I'll share this in the next video. Here's a journal that I made out of a children's book and it's chock full of mermaids. Mermaids on the back side of it. Um, if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. If it's a little crooked, just tilt your head to the side. I know. I know. I know. This is another one that I did. This is a pencil drawing. Um, and I actually like put it on the book. Really beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to share that one or not. There's another one that I did. It's a pop-up uh, book that I made with all of the characters coming out of it. This one was really cool and it took me a long time to do. And I definitely want to share this one uh, with y'all. So here's the front and then it just sits on a shelf. And this is the back. I mean, I said that wrong, the back and then the front. I'm out of practice y'all. So I'm, I'm probably going to share that. And um, the shadow box that you see back here, I'm going to share that one in the next video. That's a current project that I'm working on. So let me jump right into this. I think I want to do, let's, let's do the, the pop-up book first. And then we will do the box with the journal. Does that sound cool? Then the next video I will share, you know, some more, some more with you guys. So let's see if I can do this. 13 minutes. Hmm. I just want to see how long it takes a video to upload y'all. Okay. So I took this book and I loaded it with gesso, white gesso on the inside of it. And I made it really stiff and I folded the pages on the inside of it. And then I of course put all of this really beautiful stuff on the back side of it. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I got to I got to learn the, here, we're going to go this way. So there she is kind of like a fairy and she is, um, like looking, I think she's holding a key, maybe, um, hand painted roses and there's some butterflies, some metal, another butterfly up there on the top. And then this side is an angel, which is napkins. They were napkins. I made copies of them. And then some roses that are kind of painted on there. No, that's, that's torn paper. That's torn paper. That's not painted. Um, so I'm really not, I'm out of practice guys. Y'all got to bear with me. So this is the back side of it. Painted a keyhole up here. Which side am I on? Oh my gosh. I don't know my right from my left on this right here, the keyhole. And it just kind of sits on the desk or sits on the table. But the fun part is on the inside of it. So pause it if you need to. I have all kinds of characters. You see Alice in Wonderland there. You see the fairies. You see the um, fairy on the top. You see the little door over here. Am I doing this right? Oh my gosh. I'm so out of practice, guys. The door over here on this side. But what, basically what it is, is the pages are folded in into the book. They're literally folded into the book. Oh, focus, focus, focus. I'm not getting a good focus here, guys. Anyway, so this is really cool. I've got the big, you know, unicorn and the hummingbird coming out of it pop-up book. It doesn't close, just sits on the shelf. So not sure what I'm going to do with it. A lot of people love that idea. Um, possibly a tutorial. It took me forever to get all of the pieces in here painted. 
and cut. I don't do the fancy machines. I don't do none of that stuff. It's just all hand cut, hand, hand have mercy, hand cut and hand painted. So that's kind of where I'm at with that one. So let's see if I can set this back. I don't have a lot of room in here, y'all. And the next one and the final one is going to be a mermaid box that I made. You know those cheap boxes that you see at Dollar General or Walmart or, um, you know, the little boxes that have, like, art on them already? I've, I had one, and I was like, ooh, I like that. I want to do a journal with a box, and that's what I came up with. So here's the front of it. Real shells, plastic flowers, all that goodness. There's some lace around the bottom edges of it. They have this really cool feature on YouTube now where you can slow the video down um, if you want to get like a better view. Uh, I put some flowers on the front of it up here. Can you see those? There's are all around it. And then, see? Real fun. On the inside of it, really pretty, guys. There's a mermaid there. And I put lace around it. And then I put a bow of uh, lace on there. On the inside of it, you remember the little golden books? This wasn't a little golden book because I would never tear those up. Those are classic, but it was the same style as a little golden book. And um, I did art in that. I think this was actually one of those Dollar Tree Valentine books from an ex-boyfriend from long ago. I really don't know, y'all. So this one's not full. <clears throat> My voice is starting to go. But uh, I did the tail and the mermaid. Uh, wow, I'm going to have to really practice here. The mermaid, um, like, po what is this? It's like a poem. I put it on the front of it. There's another mermaid on the back side of it. <clears throat> and on the inside of it, I don't think I did anything. I think I intentionally left this whole thing blank. Um, really blank. The pages are all blank. There's different pages in it. I was getting rid of some scraps. Um, I really love, oh, y'all, these were tea dyed, too. I, I tried some tea instead of some coffee. Really fun. So I put some of those little papers like that in there. And just some old scraps of uh, paper, you know. But this is all coffee dyed. I keep saying coffee. I mean tea. It was all tea dyed paper. So lighting really sucks in here. But it's a really good idea, and it makes a wonderful gift to be able to give to somebody. You know, so I have so much more to share. I really do. I just want to kind of uh, ease back into this because it's been so long. Um, I hope this video makes sense. I hope everything that I've said makes sense. Um, I'm not hyped up on coffee in a more mellow yellow you know what I mean? So I've really missed doing this. I have really missed doing this. I have um, plans to try to get more videos uploaded. And I, like I said, there's a ton of projects that I have got to share with you guys that I've been working on. Um, some art, some canvas, if I can get them in here. Um, definitely want to try to work on, oh, sorry. I definitely want to try to work on a different setup in here, though, because I think that it's kind of too crowded in here. Um, that'll be my next I don't know. I don't do New Year's resolutions anymore. I don't do birthdays anymore. Just had a birthday on the 12th, which was two days ago. Just turned 41. Have mercy, y'all. 41. 41. But, but, I remember having a conversation with Terry back in 2015. And I remember him telling me, you're going to be in your 40s when I get out. He wasn't lying. He wasn't lying. Um... I really want to get in the kitchen. I feel like I want to get in there and cook. <clears throat> uh, that's going to be my next my next set of videos. Uh, cooking with me. There's some recipes that I want to try out for the holidays. Um, all that good stuff. So now I'm rambling and making absolutely no sense. I know this video is all over the place. It's the first one that I've uploaded. The project shares, I hope that you guys can deal with those. They will get better. I've just got to get back in the in the swing of things. It's been a long time since I've been on a webcam. You know what I mean? Long, 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 long time. Long time. I can't even get my words together. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's so good to be back over here. Um, leave some comments. Let me know how you guys are doing. Cheryl Highfield, I have not forgotten about you. I, um, I've gotten your text messages and, and I'm keeping you in every prayer in every prayer. I am so, so, so from my heart, sorry that you were dealing with what you're dealing with. I will definitely make it a point to reach out to you. Um, I think I've got different phone numbers now, so I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to make you feel like I, you know, don't understand what you're going through because God knows I do. Um, so I'll make it a point to reach out to you and a few of you others that are on here. Vic, you know, you, you're my bestie and, and I love you to death. I love you to death. Um, we talk quite a bit. Um, there's so many names I'm forgetting. Uh, you guys know who you are. Just know if I haven't mentioned you, you know, I do read the comments and I will be more active over here. It's my plan to. Um, I've missed it and I really want to get back into it. So in saying that, I love you guys. Um, I feel really good about this and I hope that, um, you know, I can get some more videos uploaded and we can kind of continue where I dropped off. Maybe. I don't know. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching, being a part of the channel and hanging tough for all of those months of no uploads. I love you guys and I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.